Black men beware. Before deciding on whom to vote for on November 5th, read the 13th Amendment of the Constitution. It's a blueprint for how the authors of Project 2025 will use it to incarcerate you and strip you of your freedom for generations to come. Their code words are law and order. The 13th Amendment was written to officially make slavery illegal in the United States or any of its jurisdictions. Here's the problem. It's double talk. The official text of the amendment reads, Section 1. Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. Then there's Section 2 that reads, Congress shall have power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. It was passed by Congress on January 31, 1865 and ratified December 6, 1865. Did you catch the double talk? except as punishment for crime, and that Congress shall have power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. The President, Congressman, and Senator you elect on Tuesday will have that power. The power to create new laws. The Supreme Court that was appointed by Donald Trump recently invoked an 1860s abortion law that is now the law in many states. Remember, slavery was legal at the state level for more than 400 years, and for the record, it wasn't the Emancipation Proclamation that made slavery federally unlawful nationwide. It only pertained to the lower southern states. It was the 13th Amendment that made it federally illegal nationwide. But now read between the lines. Why do you think cannabis is still illegal at the federal level, but completely legal at the state level? Hmm. Kamala Harris has vowed to make cannabis legal at the federal level, because she is keenly aware of the 13th Amendment. Did you know that there are more black men incarcerated today than the number of slaves that existed in 1850 because of this so-called war on drugs? It's not a war on drugs. It's a continuation of their civil war and a loophole to keep you incarcerated and put you in a labor pool that pays on average 10 to $25 per month, but closer to 10. You heard right, per month. Your vote this year is one of the most consequential decisions you will ever make. And not voting is just downright stupid. Do not do that. Protect yourself and the women in your life from people who don't have your best interest at heart. Remember, it was a black woman who brought you into this world. Don't let the authors of Project 2025 take you out. Vote. Black Wall Street Global LLC is responsible for the content of this message. Join the economic evolution at vip.blackwallstreetclub.com. Thanks for watching.